This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back uh, with another edition of Quick Hits, and we got a fun show for y'all today. Uh, we're going to get completely uh, into who next for Andrade. Uh, Andrade uh, obviously beat Liam Williams, and I think a, a lackluster performance where he let him off the hook again early, which is uh, becoming traditional with him. I mean, that's his new thing. He let you off the hook. Um but before we get into that, uh, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. There's the new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. It's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. So if you're part of the Texas Boxing community, if you're in Texas, if you're interested in Texas, um, Texas Boxing, please like and subscribe to that. Also, there's a link. It is National Autism Month. There's a link in the description. For autism, uh, everything we make from the Texas page goes directly to the autism community in research. Uh, the autism community in action. It all goes, which is TACA. Um, sorry, let me repeat that. Everything we make with the, the Texas page goes directly to TACA. That's the autism community in action. Um, it's a, a charity that's near and dear to our hearts, so please like, uh, please share it. Uh, if you can, please donate to it. Um, at, at least, please like and subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene so we can get that monetized as quickly as possible. Uh, please, um, like I said, please like and subscribe to that. Uh, but let's get into today's show. Demetrius Andre, like I said, uh, took a decision over Liam Williams. Um, he got off to a quick start like he always does. Dropped him early. Let him off the hook. Couldn't finish him in the second round. Um... <clears throat> Liam Williams rallied, had a few moments here and there, but ultimately it was uh, Andre's um, skill, athleticism, that carried the day. Although, you know, Williams did have some moments. Um, it was mostly on, it was the Andre show. He looked good. He looked impressive. Um, but we know that about Andre. He's, he's highly skilled. He's been a champion since 2013, which I want to touch on in a second, because that's eight years now he's been a world champion. Uh, but he really hasn't fought anyone. And, and I don't, no, if that who's fault, what, who, huh, what, why. I, I don't know why that is, but he really hasn't. Um, did yesterday's performance get him any closer or any further from a big name in the division? Um, I, I obviously, the big name in, in the divisions, um, he'd go up to 168 to fight... Um, Canelo, but the division has uh, Triple G. It has, um, it has Triple. I'm sorry. It has Triple G, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. It has Triple G, and and, and, and uh, Triple G and Charlo, the two big names of the division, that make great fights. Um, if, if you're Triple G, which I find, I don't think is going to happen, and we'll get into why uh, Triple G is already scheduled to fight Marana at the end of the year. Um, which he should win because Mariah is easy to hit and Triple G's got still has power. It's the last thing that's going to go. He looked good in his last fight. Um, but if you're, if you're Triple G, you look at him and say, I can beat him. Liam Williams was able to put hands on him. Liam Williams touched him up and it was some good shots. If I do, I'll get him out. Um, I would say yes. Here's why I don't think Triple G is going to fight him. Um, because he could lose. And if he loses, he loses his shot at a Canelo trilogy. Right? If he loses to Boo Boo, nobody wants to see him fight Canelo again. It'll have lost all the charm. And then that would mean he loses his Canelo payday. Look, I, I, I think Andre beats him, and that's why it won't happen. I think the handlers, Triple G handlers, know it's a big risk, and it's not worth risking. You know, has Triple G ever beat a mover? The closest thing is Jacobs. And Jacobs isn't such a mover. Um, and I thought Jacobs beat him. I, I had a one 
14, 113 Jacobs. It's a close fight. Could have went either way. Went to Triple G. Not surprisingly that Triple G would get a decision. Um, you know, and, and after that, who else has he fought? Who, well, he's not fought a slickster, really. And I think they keep him away from slickster on purpose. So I don't think the Triple G fight is going to happen. Nothing to do with Andre. Would Charles Conwell be uh, only up to 160? That's an interesting fight, which I think could happen. I'm going to tweet about that. I like that fight. Um, the other big name, but it's not a big name, though. Charlo is the other big name. Um, Eddie Hearn said they'd be willing to go to Fox. He said post-fight they'd be willing to go to Fox and make the fight. He said he's not going to be expensive. He's not more expensive than Derevchenko, and they could make a unification fight. If he's willing to go over to Fox, I think that fight can happen. Now, Charlo is scheduled to fight um, in the summertime against Juan Matiel, who knocked out Kirkland. You know, he should handle him very, fairly easily. And then, can he come back September, October and fight Charlo? Because that's a fight we'd want to see. Now, that's a fight I think Andre loses. It, it, look, Andre falls asleep behind the wheel. I think Charlo beats him. Sincerely, I think Andre beats him. Um, but those are the two big fights. There's other names. There's Rob. Brant, which would be a fun fight. There's Eubank, but those, you know Eubank's over there on PBC. So realistically, I don't know who you're gonna get him. Fight. Wants to move up from 160, from 154 to fight him, which I, I I mentioned Conwell is gonna have trouble getting a title shot since there's only one title at 54. Laura is going to 160. I think that's a makeable fight if he's willing to go over to PBC. I, I think because they're not getting, you know, Laura's on the back burner because you had that unification fight between Jamel and Castano. So Laura's not getting a belt anytime soon in, in that picture. Um, but all those names are over on the PBC side. But if he's willing to go over there and, and not demand such an outrageous amount of money, I, I, why can't one of these fights be made? Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, I, I, I think, you know, Conwell, who's a big junior middleweight, is not a bad option, okay? Um, but Andre has been unable to get any of the big fights. Um, he's not a draw. He's not. He's from Providence, Rhode Island, not a huge fight city. So whose fault is it? You know, if you go through, I'm going to run through his, the names since he's fought, since he won his title against Marta Rosian in 2013, okay? 2014, he fought once he beat Brian Rose. 2015, he fought once he beat, ready for this, Dario Fabian Puchetta. In 2016, he fought once against Willie Nelson. 2017, he fought Jack Wilkay. And then he moved up to... Uh, one, wait, no, then he fought Alantes Fox. Yeah, he fought Alantes Fox at 160. Then he fought Walter Cot Cotton-Dakwa, Akarev, Siliski, which is probably his best win, Luke Keeler, and then Liam Williams. Guys, he's been a champion... For eight, nine, eight years. And th those are the names he's beat. Well, I'm not saying it's his fault, but something's got to give. It. And, and I think Conwell's a good name. What, do you guys like that name? Uh, Charlo Allor would be who I would preference. Right? If those fights can't happen, if they can't work with PBC, how about you call up Lou DiBella and you make that fight? I, I think I, Conwell's a big 54-pounder. He said he'd be willing to fight Triple G, but why not fight Andre? See, I just played matchmaker. I, I just made y'all a fight. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you like the Conwell fight? If the Charlo or Laura fight can't happen, that takes precedence. But if that can't happen, which I think it could, you just might have to wait till the end of the year for it. Do you like that fight? Uh, do you agree with me that the Triple G fight's not going to happen? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Again, there's a link for Taka, the autism community in action. All proceeds from the Texas channel. Uh, from the Texas boxing scene, which please like and subscribe to go to that uh, charity. It's a near and dear to our heart at 3D Boxing. Please like and subscribe to that. Um, please follow us on all forms of social media. Um, it is March 18th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in to the Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.